So, welcome back to the Demystifying Blender, Blender Cycles Passes series. I always forget the name. But anyway, so in this tutorial, we are going to be taking a look at normal pass. And it is one of uh, the most important passes that one could have uh, and be blessed with as a compositor. And you'll see why. And there are many aspects to it. And you can take it to the next level when you're using softwares such as Nuke or Fusion, when you can actually recreate the whole 3d scene using point clouds and stuff but in this video we are going to take a look at how to use the normal pass to add rim light in compositing which is super super fun anyway so the first thing that we need to do is well to make sure that you are using the blender cycles engine because i don't know i guess eevee has it uh, let's take a look i haven't really composited with eevee and there you go so no yeah so i guess it works with both but i'm going to stick with cycles for this one and really the only thing left for us to do is go to the passes step right over here and just check the normal pass there you go that's it then all you got to do is hit render oh f12 guess something's wrong with my keyboard f12 should be working anyways and I'll just hit yeah there you go Okay, so this image is rendered out. And now let's go to the compositing tab and we have our image nice and dandy ready for us. Right, and now over here we can see that we have a new socket, which is the normal pass. So let's view that and we get this, which is, <laughs> well, it's an effect, <laughs> isn't it? If this is how you want to render it out. But no, we are going to use this information to relight our scene. So let's do that by adding in a normal node as one might imagine and it has only one input which if you've smart enough you know <laughs> that it's going to go over right here and if i view this we get blue but this isn't exactly what we're after we want to view it to the dot socket and as soon as we view it we get this which again <laughs> is an effect on itself or by itself rather yeah birds right and you can hear them parrots actually parrots right outside my window they don't talk to me though anyway so what we can do what what can we do with this node well we have a ton of control over this so if i just click and drag this ball you can see that we can change stuff right here. look take a look at that now the only downside is that it doesn't exactly match up the way it's it's getting shown right over here so you can see it could get a tad bit difficult so you have to, I don't know, find the right spot and yeah, something like this. So I want to have rim light going right over here. Now this is probably not how you would light a scene, but you know, just for demonstration purposes. So yeah, a rim light. And I would like that rim light to be of color blue. So let's add in a mix node and put this right over here and set the, set the bottom color to blue. And now set the blending mode to multiply there we go looking perfect now the last step is to add this on top of our image right over here yeah so add in a mix node oh, sorry mix there you go so this image the our original image should be on the top socket and this one should go on the bottom socket and bottom socket is the foreground and this is the background and we want this to be on top of the current image because if we just put it in the back it wouldn't really make sense because the effect is going behind our image hope that is hope that makes sense to you guys anywho once we're done we well again this is an effect by itself but not what we want we want our original colors back and on top of that we want to slap this 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 newly created relighting so simple fix for that is to click uh, the blending mode should be add and yeah <laughs> not not what we're looking up for and the reason why this is happening is because the normals they sh well any value in 3d usually should go from 0 to 1 you know black and white images but this is overshooting beyond 0 to 1 so all we need to do is clamp it and there's an option right here that's a clamp there you go now if you view this it's changed now the effect is there it's just too dim so we need to, you know, just make it a bit more powerful. And we can do that by just changing the factor to something more like five. 
and now you can see you can see that they're we're getting some blue lighting right over here so if i were to i don't know go over here and instead of that maybe maybe change it to something something a bit uh, okay yeah something like that now if i do this there you go we can see we are getting this blue blue rim light and yeah so that's that's one of the one of the ways you can use the normal pass and relighting and we do relight in in blender and <laughs> clearly this is looking awesome as well this looks good as well so if you want to just render that out it's up to you ah, excuse me now there's one more thing that you can do with the normal pass and that is with the separate rgba node now normal pass as you know uh, it has the normals can be in two three different directions right x y and z but let's say that you only want to affect the up direction which in blender's case it's the z axis but coming from different softwares of course that would differ so let's connect the normal pass to the image socket and if you view the red channel we're getting i guess it's the front one blue sideways and and then the green is the sideways and blue is the top one because you can see that the lights it's it's, it's facing upwards uh, the, the white area is only shown on the top surfaces so the z axis so yeah that's that's one clever way to do things so if i just plug uh, disconnect this and plug this in right over here and if i view this we can see that the blue light is coming from the top so yeah another way to do that now before you just close off this video or window there are a few things that you need to make sure before you actually you know check the normal pass so the first thing that you need to make sure is check click on your model or don't actually and just check face orientation now everything outside of the model everything you know outside every everything has an inside and an outside like we humans uh, the flesh this the skin color and all that that is the outside stuff and the inside it's all red so yeah so the everything on the outside of the model should be blue and everything inside should be red as you can see there's a hole over here and we can see through it and on the inside it's red cool so yeah and another thing that you should you know you should always do is apply the rotation location and scale and always edit in edit mode if you if you change the scale or something like that and don't apply it then then the normals right over here they will be a bit weird and you'll be like oh the normal spot doesn't work no the normal pass is working it's probably you that were that it's probably you who was, was an idiot right because you didn't listen to me so you should listen to me and do one of these things so apply ro location rotation scale and make sure that uh the normals aren't flipped that everything is blue and in just in case it's red all you got to do is go into edit mode and this probably will crash oh boy i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have that okay there you go uh, oh it's it's like super lagging for me right now all right uh, i'll just <laughs> i'll just quickly add in a cube right okay there you go so so if let's say uh, everything is red and i'll just select this hit shift f i suppose or control f nah i think f3 when flip normals i swear to god there's a there's a command right over here that says so apparently uh the menu uh the things changed a bit in blender 2.93 i guess so you can't hit shift f anymore i guess so it's alt and and then you get this menu so uh, if you flip so there you go for some case for some of you if there if you see a red face on the outside then just click on it and it alt n and just choose flip there you go so that's that's one thing you can do and the other thing is let let's me let me add another cube and then going to edit mode and you can just go over here in the overlay tab and here here you can see the faces uh, the direction of the normal and also that is that is also important because if they're they're, they're facing somewhere else then i think i was a bit loud there <laughs> but sorry about that yeah excuse me so yeah if the, if they're facing somewhere else then this obviously is going to this this information right here is going to be a bit different than what is expect, expected <laughs> anyway so yeah that's that that that's it for this tutorial this uh is this is the normal spots and i since none of you guys probably well if you are this is a blender channel i don't want to I don't want to talk with nuke and fusion but yes uh do if you if you guys are using nuke and all then you can just 
this YouTube it, you know, normal spas new tons of videos and you can see the potential the normal spas has. So yeah, that's it. In the next video, we'll talk about the UV pass and how we can change things in compositing. So yeah, I'll see you then. Until next time then, be infinite.